All right, motherfuckers, we back. Hello, motherfucker. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie, she slid on that song, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Last time I checked, bitch, I checked up. What? Oh, my God. Let's get straight to it, though. We got Black Chicago be like part 110, 110. Bro, with an upside down fronty face. So, uh, something sad about to happen, I feel. I fear. Mm-mm-mm. 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 All right, so Pete. Oh, I forget. He don't, it don't get straight to that point no more because he has the intro and shit. Get your bread, my nigga. I, I fuck with it. But we want to hear the I right, so Pete. Come on. Uh, on God, so Pete. <laughs> I remember this one time me and Big Twan was at this gym working out. He, you heard about that funny Marco and G Herbo? Sh- I, hell yeah, that shit been trending hot as hell. Coming off the weight bench, he, man, you think that was real though? I, I mean, you never know nowadays, but I, I think it was for real, for real. Heat, man, was. hell no, that's one real. That's just like when Will Smith slapped Chris Rock. That's stage, bro. I'm telling you. Ah, what? Will Smith really put Chris Rock taste buds on the podium. You're tweaking. Big Twine, man, I guess if it was real, who was wrong? Herb or Marco? Ah, I, I mean, I guess it depends on how you look at it. Either Funny Marco was being sensitive and couldn't take a taste of his own trolling, or Herb was on dummy. I don't know what y'all think. I think it's 50 50. Because that nigga Marco would be trolling for real. So it's like it was bound to happen on his own show. But then Herb, I ain't gonna lie, he was tweaking. That, like I said in the title, that nigga was tweaking. It was, it's, the, it's the lick. Lick was making that nigga go crazy. And then. I ain't gonna lie, Sasa was was meat ride. What what, you, what y'all call it? Glazing. I ain't gonna lie, cause that nigga was not liking like that before uh, Herbo pulled up. But nonetheless, I give it a I give it a smooth fifty fifty. I feel like that's just how they nigga that other niggas talk in Chicago. You feel me? The lingo. But he was calling that nigga a dumbass to his face. I was like, that's that nigga was tweaking. Drop it in the comments. Was Funny Marco being sensitive or Herb was on boo? Mm-hmm. Big Twan, I feel you. Your turn, no muscle man. It made room for me on the weights. I say less. Time out. And proceeded to prepare to showcase my muscular capabilities. Right after I reached for the bar, a lady pimped up. She, what's going on, fellas? I'm Regina, the owner of the gym. Just making sure y'all good. Y'all need anything? Big Twine, man, I appreciate the hospitality. All I need is your number for real. She, can't help you with that, but I do have a sauna available for you to use or a post-workout shake, strawberry banana or peanut butter. Curved this dumbass. I, oh, man, that's a blessing. Thank you. Right before I started pumping iron, she, you welcome before stepping to the side to casually stretch her well-constructed and naturally engineered frame. Lean as hell. In the mist, Big Twine had found himself hypnotized by her beauty. At the same time, I'm struggling with a rep. Now the bar on my neck, I'm Twine. He don't hear me. I'm fighting for my life before he finally snap out of it. And pull the bob off me. I sit up looking at him crazy. Regina peep him almost killing me over her SMH and walk off. Big Twine, my bad. That motherfucker was back to a freaky phone. <laughs> After was that, bad. I hop on the machine. Yo. I was focusing on my ab and back strength. Big Twine found some type of up down situation at work on his arms. I got in tune with another contraption that you like hang from, focusing on your upper body strength. Big Twine participating in something else that looked at like it assisted you with being able to pull heavy garbage bags out the garbage can. Now, while I was on another pulley machine working on my biceps and triceps, I- the name of the the name of the spot, bring your old bottle fitness. What could the B mean? Bring your own bells? No, bring your own bottle. Bring your own bottle. Like water bottle? I don't know. That's fun. That's a funny name for a workout spot. Ended up looking to my left where a set of global glutes was gliding across the workout room floor. Big Twine spotted a two. Shorty went and hopped on a treadmill. Me and Big Twine instantly rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Best out of three belt in my favor. I slide into the cardio room and grab me a treadmill right next to shorty i was a little confused about how to start it up i'm looking at the screen and the options i see 5k i they give motherfuckers 5k just to walk you ain't have to tell me twice i do 5k do 
start y'all tweaking i was about to get a bag and a beauty it started moving i catch me a little strag i was hoping to catch shorty attention but if mine and your business was a person it would have been her i turn around and start moonwalking on the belt i had to do something to tickle that girl fancy but to no avail she remained facing forward that clearly wasn't working i decided flexing athleticism might do the trick i <laughs> turned the speed all the way up shortly after i was running faster than a kid trying to get home before the street lights came on <laughs> breathing hot as hell she boy what are you doing i oh i'm training for the olympics without missing a step she the olympics i on my dead homies paris 2024 i bring you back some fresh french fries burning my homies right up she boy yo screen yes is lying stop playing with me i true i was just trying to impress you let me slow this down what chance i got if i'm musty right she you funny as hell you was starting to smell a little tangy i getting that tangy barbecue huh she type sh throwing trees i wow shorty you mean as hell what's to you she i'm just getting with you little baby ah it's okay but nah what's your name she diana what's your name flirty like ah okay diana a pleasure my name bartholomew she Bartholo what? <laughs> ah, hey, chill on me. It ain't nothing you can't get used to letting slide past your lips. She, boy, you was too smooth for me. Ah, on the lowest of keys. I want to get to know you, though. Perhaps maybe we could uh participate in a slight little meal together. See what's to each other. Woo, da 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 She, sound like a plan. <laughs> I can Ooh. use some nourishment for my body. I and something else too. She, what you say? Ah, nothing. Let's go. And slid right out of that tight pocket of conversation. We pull up to the Jerk 48 in Alsa. It had only been open for a couple weeks. So it was for his first time popping in there. I look around. It was something different. Polished as hell. They had some type of tiki Jamaican vibe. Gullah, I have Gullah, to go Island there, bro. Energy. I, this jerk. Oh, wait, I seen the menu on the wall. Hold on, I got, I got to take a look at that. I have to go, bro. Oh man, that's part. That's gonna be part of the once a month trips, bro. I'm telling you, I have to go for jerk for the different. Polished as hell. They had some type of tiki Jamaican vibe. Oh, I thought it was a menu on that bitch. Oh, it is me, right? I can't even read that shit, bro. Cabbage bowl, uh, rice and peas. I don't see no. Nigga, where all that jerk shit at, bro? Desserts. They got bun and cheese. They probably don't got bun and cheese. No, I don't see nothing that start with V. Uh, rice and. Mac and cheese. Oh, there we go. Jerk. Jerk. Gullah, I can't read that shit. Let me stop that. I can. And GI. This Jerk 48 swanky as hell. Even the floors is on some other. Sh it was like a replica of a sandy beach. Creative. Deanna. I heard about this location. They just opened this up. Ah, hell yeah. A couple weeks ago, I think. What you got a taste for? She, well, I'm pescatarian, so I'ma see what's today, jerk shrimp pineapple bowl. Ah, I, I my fuzz pescatarian. For that guy. Well, shit, let's, let's see what's to it. The cashier, welcome to Jerk 48, how can I help you? Deanna, how can you help us? The cashier, right, how can I help you guys? Ah, blessings, can I get the jerk shrimp pineapple bowl? She, oh, the jerk shrimp pineapple bowl? That is a good choice. Deanna, that was actually my choice. Thank you. The cashier, okay. It's nice to know you have good taste. Deanna, I know I do. You see my nigga, right? <laughs> ah, chill, 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 chill. And yeah, I'ma take the jerk chicken taco. She, 
Okay, so you're gonna have the jerk shrimp pineapple bowl with one jerk chicken taco. So that's gonna be thirty eight fifty. Ah, thirty eight fifty. What the fuck? What's on the sides? Goddamn. Listen, I pull out my phone. Apple Pay. Complete transaction. She okay, so that'll be fifteen minutes. Here's your receipt, and thank you so much, Deanna. You welcome. Well, I stand her down as she walked away. We sit down, Deanna. What the? Ah, what's wrong, babe? She the seating in this fucker inadequate. Looking by her seat, I oh good grief! One of her cheeks was left without a place to rest. I grabbed another stool to put together with the one she was sitting on. Equal opportunity seating. Ah, much better. She yes, thank you. Ah, blessings. What that was over there? Why you tweak with that lady for? She cuz don't play with me the fuck. Hashtag bang. Ah. Oh, you so possessive. Where your man at? She at Jerk 48 getting me something to eat. Ah. Oh damn, the 1067? She boy, stop playing with me and shove me. Ah. I don't want no smoke with you, lady. I'm sorry. She period. Act like it then. But anyway, I've been single for about a year. Ah. Oh yeah. How you fumble that? She, he wasn't man enough to handle me, but it be like that sometimes. The fuck does that I, mean? Damn, I hate to hear it, queen. His loss, she, and is. But why you single? I, who said I was? She, you say what? I, JK, JK. Nah, but me and Shorty was together for a nice little minute, but I don't know, sometimes when you get older and you mature, motherfuckers just grow apart. She, nah, I feel it. But long as you know, me and you need to be growing closer. Smile or not, duly noted, babe. She, it better be. Not too long after that, a lady, your order's ready. Instead of our food on the counter. Good conversation, always make the time fly by. Before I knew it, less than a week later, she was introducing me to her family. We pull up, pop out to her people crib. She, you nervous, babe? With a shrug, I fake so. I mean, should I be? She. I mean, my family pretty cool. Ah, my first sounded a little unsure. She, you good, babe, don't worry about it. I ain't know what was finna happen, but it was too late to turn back. It was an elderly woman in the backyard tending to her garden. We pimp up, Deanna. Hey, granny. She, hey, my baby, come on over here to your granny, girl. We step closer, Deanna. How you feeling today, old lady? She, I'm all right in the world, all wrong. Who the fuck is this? I'm like, damn. Mm -hmm. Deanna, granny. This my friend, Bartholomew. She, Bartholomew? Who the fuck you named after? I, I, shit, actually, I don't know. My OG just uh, came up with that title for me. She, by the way, how old are you? You got dentures and sh big teeth, ginger snapping. I, um, they, they actually call veneers. She, veneers? What is that? Cause them some damn dentures. I just let her have it. I, okay, ma'am, dentures. She, I know they dentures. Cause you take them out and put them in water at night. Smiling and nah, nah. Yes, ma'am, I do. Asking Deanna, she, sweetheart, why you bring this old motherfucker to my house? I already got a man. Deanna, no granny, this is my man. I just want to introduce you to my man. She, so you date no man, huh? Just like your grandmama. But you know, it's nice to meet your old man, Deanna. Ain't you barbecuing today, Granny? What a fool. She, well, your cousin on the grill today, baby, so you gotta wait for him to get done. Right after that, her cousin popped out. He had face tattoos. I remember she mentioned him to me. His name was Forehead. He came out flipping Frankfurters on the grill. Deanna, Forehead, what's up, cuz? He, what's up, cuz? I ain't see you over there, cuz. Mmm. She, the food done? I'm hungry as hell. He, yeah, cuz, we got glizzies, cuz, mmm, barbecue to perfection. Deanna, ooh, me and my friend want some. Looking out, what friend? Deanna, babe, what's wrong with hot dogs? Ah, right, baby, I'm not eating no glizzies, what the fuck? Forehead, what you got against glizzies, cuz? Shit. Hmm. Ah, right, oh no, to each his own. I just don't partake. He, what you saying? Before grabbing a glizzy and putting teeth to it. You too good for glizzies, cuz? What the fuck happened to all the glizzies? It was just nine on them bitches. Now it's only four. Us? Ah, whole time. That's not even my sentiments for real. I, I just don't participate. He participate? What that mean, cuz? 
What you trying to get in two or something? Deanna, forehead calm down. Two seconds later, he boom, 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 rush me. He, these bitches hurt, cuz. You hear me, cuz? Next time I meet that hot dog, cuz. And pimped off. I'm like, he ain't never do all this over an Oscar Mayer wiener. Her grandmother turned to me. She, get your whole ass up from down there. Deanna yeah, Bay walking towards me. Her other cousin, you good, cuz? Who this bitch ass shorty? On that. Deanna held me up. She, this bitch ass shorty is my man. Y'all better leave him alone. Forehead, that nigga cuz coming over here using big words trying to play my this ain't that her other cuz hell no nah, this ain't that we get on my ass you know diana y'all do too much we finna go bye granny i love you talking to diana she i love you too baby looking at me see you later old fart diana took my hand and then walked me up out of there while her family was ice grilling me they may not have rocked with me but me and her clicked real bad Everything felt right whenever we was together. We ain't need nobody else. We had fun all by our lonesome. Bonnie and Clyde type energy. A Chicago love story. Felt like a fairy tale for real, but it's one thing I couldn't help but to notice. And the only thing, she was so physical. She used to love play fighting too. That was something I had to get used to for real. After about a month and some change, one day we at my crib, Deanna in the front watching TV. Now I'm walking into the front room, texting Big Twine. I take a seat, she. So you going outside tonight? Ah, right, yes, babe. We had already talked about this. You know I'm supposed to be popping out with Big Twine. She, whatever, Bartholomew. See, that's what I be talking about. Ah, right, babe. I don't hardly even pop out as it is. It's been a minute since I even went outside. What's the problem? She, you got a whole lady at home, but you choose to go out and be around women that don't give two fucks about you? Ah, why well, I gotta be about women though? I'm not going out to see them. I'm just sliding with my homie. SMH. Come on, babe. She, yeah, okay. And what you sitting over there for? What you trying to hide? Ah, this just a seat I just happen to take, babe. If you miss me, just say that. Smiling, I get up out the chair I was sitting in to walk across the room and sit on the couch with Bay per her cute little request. You would have thought she was a blind man the way she was always feeling away. Get it? Feel, you know, blind man gotta feel their way. Up. Never mind. We sitting there watching that episode of Martin when he went on vacation with Gina and he had to end up punching on that possum. One of the funniest episodes. I mean, that go crying. I don't know how she was able to sit there straight face. Sour Patch Kid. Now, while we watch it TV, I randomly get a text message. I take my phone out and look. It's one of my old oh, wop She, where you been at? I cool and she, where you at? Now, coincidentally, Deanna look over with the eagle eye, cast the message, and she blew. She, who the was that? I, nah, I want nobody back. She, well, why is nobody asking you where you at? I, How about saying, nigga, you wildin', you texting a, a, a old bitch in front of your girl? Like, I ain't, mean, you bugging. Whole time, I don't know. It's got to be at least three, four years since I talked to Shorty. She just randomly hit me up. Deanna, you must think I'm stupid. I, no, I don't. She, so you finna pop out with Big Twine, but you got a bitch texting you where you at? I, I mean, I know this may sound like some movie, but it's not what it seems. I really have not talked to Shorty and I don't know how long. This is an unpremeditated communication. She cracked, stole on me, dead in my eye. It was a clean hit too. I felt this swell up quick. I couldn't even believe it. Then she, oh, I'm sorry, babe. Her first time taking it too far, I was so upset I couldn't even say nothing. I just walked off. I had to. Before I went to school, Big Twine, I threw on some shades to have my eye. We in traffic heat. Man, why the f you got them glasses on? Looking like Tim the Tool Man Taylor. Huh? Turn it to him out. It's a part of my ensemble. I face forward. He, boy, you ain't never wore no glasses like that, man. What the f going on? I just looked at him, shaking my head. I want to drop the topic already. He, man, pull this f over. We need to talk, G. He just kept pressing an issue that I clearly wasn't trying to divulge in. So I pull over. I, bro, I, what? I'm good. He, Bartholomew, bringing the issue back to the surface had me feeling away. I hop out the car. He bop out right behind me. I start walking up the street. 
he follow. He came up behind me, quick seal, spin me around, snatch my shades off, exposing my bruised profile. He got a deck. Oh boy, who <laughs> sucked your suck? I, nobody. First lie came to man. I ran into the door. He, man, ran into the door. Who is you fooling? What happened to you, bro? I, for real, bro, I ran into the door. I wasn't paying attention. He, that girl beating your ass, bro. I just kept quiet. I didn't want to paint that picture of her. He, why I get my baby mama to beat her ass, bro, for real? Ah, nah, you ain't got to do that, bro. It was a mistake. He, bro, love is blind, and it'll take over your mind. What you think is love is really not. You need to elevate and fan, bro. Ah, it's good, bro. I don't want to talk about it no more. I was embarrassed enough. He, all right, bro, put these motherfuckers back on. I hated this situation for me. I took them, put them back over my face. I just wanted to disappear. Big Twine, we ain't even got to pop out, bro. Let's just drive around for a little sec. And then we walk back to the truck after cruising down. That nigga's such a good friend, bro. The fact that this nigga even thought about snitching. Actually, the fact that he did snitch on this nigga. Crazy. Back to it. Alicia drive for a little while. Dropped him off. And just came back home. Hopped in the bed. She was already laying down. I got under the covers. Facing the other direction with my back to her. She get up. Hey, baby. Dry as hell out. Hey, I ain't had nothing to say to that woman. She seemed like you weren't gone that long. Everything okay? SMH to myself, I just changed my mind. All good. She had me sad as hell. She, baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sadness turned into anger. I was so mad. Tears start falling. I genuinely didn't do nothing wrong, but yet I had to deal with that type of activity. She pulled on my shoulder so that I could lay on my back. I barely wanted to turn around, to be honest. She start kissing on my neck and flying low. You remember that scene in Baby Boy? I was just about to say that shit. <laughs> I was just about to say that he getting Baby Boy. Oh, my God. Jody smacked the vet and they was in the bedroom. I was just she about to say that. She basically did like that. It made amends quick. She wasn't all bad. I remember this one time at Six Flags. She, so you been on a roller coaster before, babe? I Hell no. Nah. I don't be playing with guys, Grace. She, well, it's the first time for everything, and today is your day. Ah, head ass, looking ass, smelling ass, shoe ass. She, you ain't gonna do it for me, babe. Ah, I'm not finna be on that ride looking ugly as hell. She, we both finna be looking ugly as hell. Come on. Ah, I don't see the point in even getting on the ride. My eyes gonna be closed the whole time. She, well, how about you record it so we can watch it later? Ah, you know what? I bet. And we got on one. The Raging Bull. Okay, let me tell you. That first little climb to the top, right after the ride start, gotta be half feel to take that last walk right before you get the death penalty. That ascent into the heavenly atmosphere was intense. Felt like my heartbeat stopped for a second. Didn't take long to realize that I had made a poor decision, but unfortunately, it was too late to turn back. They didn't have an emergency stop level or anything. At least not one that was at my disposal. All I could do was brace myself for the drop that was about to be right in, in front of me. Yeah, I had to close my eyes right before. <laughs> Well, that drop wasn't that bad. <laughs> oh shit. I ain't been on the road coaster in so long. This shit look crazy. <laughs> How the fuck we go from you sneaking in his ass whoop to a roller coaster ride? Boy, I was ugly as hell on that ride. Do you hear me? Dad came back to life about three, four times. Kept my ass closed tight, shut. One thing for sure, I ain't dropped my phone though. I definitely recorded the whole ride. 
felt like it was 15 minutes before that ride was over. Never again. Came up off them legs. Wobbly, wobbly. I can't lie though, it was definitely an experience to remember. Now a couple months after our first incident, we at the crib, I'm in the kitchen checking my email. She comes storming in, slamming cabinets, stumping across the floor, swinging open the refrigerator, slamming it closed, looking for attention. I was used to it. Looked up from my phone, looked right back down. Stumped across the floor again, go over to the kitchen sink. She, huh, irritating as hell. Looking up, I, babe, what's the problem? She, nothing. Hated when she did that. I, you doing all that huffing and puffing and stomping for what? She, so you could be in your phone, but I can't be in my feelings? Petty Crocker. I, babe, I'm not doing nothing but checking my electronic parcels. <laughs> What's the problem? You, I, I just got quiet. She, you really think I'm stupid, but it's cool. I, you really need to stop that for real. It's always something. I can't pick my phone up. I can't do nothing. Ty, she, don't bite your tongue. You got something to say? It's crazy how in such a short period of time, it's like you know a person and you know what they finna be on. Wanna know where I could win with her? She, and you still in your motherfucking phone? That was my cue to exit stage left, so I just politely got up from the table and walked out. She followed after. I go sit on the couch in the front room to attempt to get out the way. She walk up. She, nah, why the you keep playing with me for real? I, Deanna, nobody playing with you. She, bow! Chin check me. I just got up, walked across the room. I, yo, be doing too fucking much, G. She, and what the you gonna do, Bartholomew? What the you gonna do? I, you right. You little Uzi, I'm going to let you rock. I walk to the other side of the room. She try to swing on me. I grab her arm. We get the tussling and fall on the couch. She on top of me. I squirm from up under. She come after me. She get to choking me up on the wall. The moment after, two police officers step into the crib. How the fuck the, how the, fuck the feds walk into the crib with that unlawful ass entry? Nigga, what? what? They see her right in the midst of the act. How did they even know? When we was in the kitchen and I knew she was finna be on some other sh oh. I just called 911 and left the call open so they could hear everything. Proper procedure. One of the officers, ma'am, you need to come with us. Stepping back, Deanna, you really called the police. You bitch ass. I, I can't keep doing it with you, babe. It was the only way for me to handle it, for real, for real. You gotta chill. She, after everything I done did for you, introduced you to my family, and you gonna call 12? Definitely had her foot out trying to guilt trip. I just looked at her. The officer stepped up with the cuff. She, you called the police on me? On me, Bartholomew? You a bitch. You a I feel like in, in this scenario, when a woman hits a man, like as a man, what are you supposed to do? Because your last resort should be hitting her. You shouldn't hit her. Like that's, that should be your last resort. Like if you absolutely got to, it, it didn't get to that point. But like calling the feds on my girl, I couldn't, I couldn't see myself doing that. So like, what is the third option? Just leaving? I, I'm not leaving my shit, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I'm, I don't know. I don't. I I need to know this, bro. Like, honest, I genuinely want to know from y'all niggas. What is the third option, bro? Because call the police is one. Hit her back is two. What's the third option, bro? And then for for a man that hits a woman, what is the woman's options? Call the police. Hit back, which I don't think you should do. And three, what's the third option for women? It's 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 really crazy out here. DV ain't nothing to play with, bro. And DV is one of those things. Well, they always gonna get back together, bro. It's what like it's a percentage of number. I don't remember what it is, but it's probably like an eighty percent chance that they get back together. After Chad, TV. go, Q, Q. She called me everything but a child of God. Turning up as they was taking her out the crib. More of the story, just as well as men, ladies. You gotta keep your hands to yourself too. On God. Was I wrong? Now, if I'd have put my hands on her, it would have been a situation. Y'all drop it in the comments and let me know. Yeah, we we got some pretty good rapport for real, for real. Maybe I shouldn't have called the police. Or should I have? Drop it in the comments and let me know. Yeah, let us know, bro. Hey, y'all seen y'all seen that uh Javante Davis uh body cam footage where he they they pulled up on him for the DV incident with his girl and whatever, and she ended up 
she was saying on the camera, on the body cam footage that he hit me. But actually, she wasn't even saying. She was trying to say some shit, and the police officer was automatically silent for her, like, finishing her sentences. Oh, he hit you, and then he hit you behind your ear? She like, yeah. And everybody know you're not supposed to, you're not supposed to give nobody, you're not supposed to give nobody no fillers. Like, you're supposed to let them speak, especially in a, a DV incident where you have no idea what happened. He filling in for her, saying, oh, he hit you right here, and that's how you got these two marks right here, right? And then it came back, like, like what? So then, boom, it comes out later that he never actually did hit her. But that's what he was saying the whole time. And then I believe he was waiting on he was waiting on his manager to come because they he the one that handled the cameras. So I guess they showed him the footage. They showed the police the footage of him actually not doing anything. And he still went to jail. And he had a mark on his face. I didn't see her face because her face was blurred out. But I saw he had a mark on his face. And they still arrested that nigga with no evidence other than the marks. And I'm like, bro. So, like, someone got to go. I know. Whenever, whenever there's a DV incident and there's marks, whoever got the marks is, is probably the safer one and not going. But if you both got a mark, do they go by, like, which mark is worse? Or do they go by, like, all right, if y'all both got a mark, when y'all go down, I got to do it to the man. I, which is, I think, what is protocol. I don't know. But that footage, though, I didn't like how that, I don't like that. Because they was, they, you're supposed to de-escalate situations. Them niggas was escalating that shit. Like, they was, you could tell that they was, like, really trying to pin this niggas the bad man. And granted, I understand DB ain't nothing to play with. Niggas shouldn't put their hands on no woman. But, like, with no evidence... You don't know what's going on. You just going with your personal belief, and you're not supposed to go that. You're not supposed to do that. Anyway, let me know in the comments down below. What is that third option for men and females? What what what, what is another option that you should do? Um, because I'm curious. I have actually no idea. Smash the like button. Shout out to corporate Black Chicago. Be like part 1010. I enjoyed it. We out. No cap. I know I'm wasting my time. I know I ain't crossing the line. I know if push gonna shove, we shit the fan. You gonna stand on the dime. I don't so much why I don't post. And now that I'm always gonna ghost. If I'm sick and you fake like so, I'm hot like fire. Come close my rope. I know you bitch. I know you a op.